Let's evaluate this expression. So to do so, remember order of operations. Remember, if we have grouping symbols such as parentheses or in fact here such as brackets, we simplify expressions within those first starting with the innermost set. And then we evaluate exponential expressions, roots, and absolute values. Within this set of brackets, we will then evaluate within this set of absolute value bars. So let's see what we have. We have bracket three times the absolute value of 4 minus 5. Now that's negative 1. And then raised to the fifth. And then if you'd like, we can go ahead and write this. This is minus negative 9. We can go ahead and write it as plus 9 if you'd like to. And then divide it by negative 6. We are working, though, within this set of brackets. So let's see what we have. We are still working with this absolute value. This is 3. Now, what is the absolute value of negative 1? The absolute value of negative 1 is 1, and then what is 1 raised to the fifth power? Because remember, this exponent of 5 applies only to the absolute value. Well, the absolute value of negative 1 is 1. 1 raised to the fifth power, that's 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. That's 1. So I have 3 times 1 plus 9, and then divided by negative 6, and let's continue. Within this set of brackets, do I multiply first or add? Don't forget order of operations. We multiply first, so 3 times 1 is 3, plus 9 is 12. So I have 12, and then I have divided by negative 6. My only operation left then is division. What is a positive number divided by a negative number? It is negative. And what is 12 divided by 6? 12 divided by 6 is 2. So I have that this first expression evaluates to negative 2.